I'm here to give voice to Anne Hilton and her efforts to uh, increase awareness of the plight of refugees and asylum seekers and to highlight the atrocities occurring in detention centres in Australia. She will be taking part in a silent walk to, to make her protest uh, known and uh, she would like to invite everybody who feels the same way uh, to, to join her. You know, I was born in a country that doesn't uh, give people these rights, doesn't afford them freedom of speech, freedom of expression, demanding a demand for transparency. I think whatever you believe about the refugees or the asylum seekers, whether you're a supporter or, you, or you're not, you have to, at the very least, I think, demand transparency from your government. And, and because once we start to lose that, we start to lose our democracy. I feel ashamed that, uh, that this is happening in Australia. You know, I've always been a proud Australian. One of the things I've been very proud about is our sense of compassion, our sense of humanity, as, uh, our sense of uh, doing the right thing by our fellow human being. Once the numbers get huge, then they just can't be ignored anymore. And that's, uh, that's the powerful thing. And that's, that's true democracy. And uh, it's, um, we're gonna put that to the test. Hi, I'm Anne Hilton. And for the past 12 months, I've been working with asylum seekers in a detention center. During my work, I met some of the most outstanding and courageous people that I've ever met before. And they've inspired me and um, I'm now embarking on a silent walk from Villawood Detention Centre in Sydney to Parliament House in Canberra. Um, and I'm doing this to highlight the plight of asylum seekers. I'm walking in silence to symbolise the silence that's been imposed on the public um, in general. Um, but more importantly, the silent voices of the many asylum seekers we have locked away in our onshore and offshore detention centres. I'm asking um, for support for this Walk for the Silent Many, which is what we're going to call it. Um, and we're asking for donations to buy equipment necessary to do this walk. It will take about a week. Um, and we're also wanting to sponsor refugees who've been through the, the detention centre um, system and know what it's like. And we'd like them to join us on the walk. I'd also like you to spread the word through your networks so that um, we can get as much support as possible for this walk. And any donations um, or any equipment that we have um, after the walk, we will redonate to asylum seekers and refugee organisations. This work um, has had a deep and profound impact on me and I just can't turn my back and walk away now and pretend I didn't witness um, what was happening within our immigration system. I witnessed the pain and the suffering um, of these vulnerable people who have come, um, who have survived a perilous journey. They've come to us for protection. We lock them away um, in detention centres, out of sight, out of mind. They have no voice and no rights. And um, I feel it's, it's very unjust it's unfair and it lacks complete compassion and generosity of spirit. And for me, um, I believe Australia is better than this. I believe we are a compassionate and generous um, country, yet what's happening is being imposed on us and our image throughout the world is being completely damaged because of decisions being made by, by government and I will do now all I can to try and change um, the policies and practices of this really harmful, cruel, unjust system. <laughs>